Number Races is a game that focuses on addition and has some probability to it. It is targeted for kindergarten, first grade, and second grade. So for this uh, game, two to four players can play this game. And you use one game board for everybody. You'll need two dice. This is a two player game that we've created. So you'll need player one will have their own color and player two will have their own color. So to start off, um, each player is going to choose a column. The goal of this game is to try and um, figure out which column is going to be rolled and filled in first. So when I add my two dice together, um, I will write my with my crayon on top of that number. So here would be three plus one is four, so I would trace a four. So I am going to choose number 10. I think number 10, I'm gonna shade that in. I think 10 will be rolled a lot. My uh, player number two will get to choose. That's my cameraman here. So player two chooses five. So with player two's color, they color in. Now I get to choose another box. I feel that eight will be rolled often. And now my cameraman gets to choose and his second choice is two. He thinks two will be rolled often, so I will shade that in for him. Okay, so player one's turn. We put our hockey net right here and this is our puck. We get, we're going to roll the dice or the puck into the hockey net to keep our dice in control. So five plus four, five plus four is nine. So I'm taking my red crayon and I am tracing that one. Now, neither one of us picked this. So this could be a column filled and neither one of us could win this game. Okay, player two's turn, I'll roll for him since he's rolling the camera. Hockey net, roll. Six plus one is seven, he takes his color. And oh, another column that neither one of us filled in. So uh, parents, if you have a kindergartner at home working with this, you want to use these pips, which are the dots, to support uh, if they are still working on adding sums. Uh, in, for, in kindergarten, the essential standard is that students will be able to add their math facts to five. So I would expect for these right here, when they see it on a die, on dice, if they see three and one, we immediately want them to be able to see four. Now, if your kindergartner gets this, then we wanna encourage, if they don't know five plus three automatically, we wanna encourage them to use the pips. So what we usually do is start with a higher number, five and count on, six, seven, eight. First grade, we need to be learning our sums to 10 and second grade is to 12, I'm, I'm sorry, to 20. Okay, and then we continue the game. So let's see if one of us can get um, one of ours filled. And again, we didn't. We chose this three plus three is six. And that's my rule. Okay, we're gonna do one final one. Here we go. Five plus two is seven. Still, how ironic, interesting that we didn't get any of ours. However, the first person who gets the column filled, um, and we're working off of each other's. It's just sometimes a game of chance, but then there's other conversation is which um, combinations can is going to be rolled more often. So you notice neither one of us picked one and I would, if a child filled that in, I would let it go. And as they play, they're gonna figure out why one will not be rolled and I would let that conversation happen. So um, enjoy, this is Number Races and have fun. Woohoo! Seven is our winner. Although neither one of us picks seven. It's seven, one. <laughs>